Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today in EVNG series, we are going to set up a basic cyber security lab. Okay, so to set up a cyber security lab, we need to understand few of the terms and we need to understand few of the topic as well. Okay, so first in this video, we are going to understand what is Kali Linux, what exactly what it does where we can download the image what are the process to import that particular image to evng okay how we can create a topology in evng basically a home lab for our cyber security and we'll also perform a port scanning test and we'll check basically we will be including firewall in the cyber security lab and we'll see how firewall reacts to that particular tests okay so it's a complete uh, guide for the beginners basically so i'll request you to please watch this video till the end so that you can understand and you can set up your own lab as well and build your understanding and also i'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss a video from me so without any further delay let's get started So friends, now we'll understand what is Kali Linux. Okay, so Kali Linux previously known as Backtrack, if I remember it correctly. So with the help of this image, we'll try to understand. So Kali Linux is nothing but it's a operating system basically. Okay, now it's a operating system for cyber security. With the help of this one OS, we we will do lot of things like for an example, we can perform pen testing. OK, now pen pen testing is finding a fault in a system for an example. OK, now we have so many tools like more than 600 tools, which is available in Kali Linux. You can perform so many attacks from Kali Linux to a system. OK. Now think about it, if we are placing Kali Linux system in our EVNG lab, what will happen? We, we, we can perform a lot of attacks and we can mitigate those attacks with the help of firewall. So we can do a lot of testing with the firewall. So that is the basic funda of creating a cyber security lab in EVNG, basically your home lab. Okay, so this is what our target is okay so friends now we'll understand like from where we can download this linux like the kali linux image and also we'll see how to import that particular image to evng so i have made this process really really easy so what i did is i'll show you what is the process to get the image so you have to search for evng and Kali Linux something like this so you will be getting a first option so you can click on this okay now you will be into this Eve ng and how you are going to create your Linux host image okay so this is how this is the process that you have to follow for Kali Linux this is the default username and password and this is how the process is okay now you don't need to follow all this process i have made that image specifically for you guys which is this one so what you have to do is you have just need to import this image so what you have to do it let me show you okay you don't need to go through this complex process and all okay so now and uh, one more thing guys uh, it will be little difficult because my Google Drive space is almost full. So I'm planning for another link right now. You will not be able to find that in the previous link, but I am finding a new link so that I can upload the image and I can share the new image to you guys. Okay. So friends, what we are going to do is we'll open Venus CP. Okay. And in the Venus CP, I'm going to put the ip address my eve ng okay eve okay 
now i'll go here and opt where is opt opt unit lab add-ons qmo okay now here i have to create the folder now to name the folder we have to go to documentation okay and qmo image naming and we have searched for kali okay maybe linux linux okay so you have to write like this okay and after that you can write any name okay so we are having what we are basically linux and we can type it as kali okay this is for all linux boxes okay so i have created that open that particular folder and we'll go here and basically we can we will be taking this image and we'll just import it so as is it we have to just import it that's all okay so let's uh, this things gets copied and after that i will give you or uh, once it is finished i'll start the video again okay so guys i have already copied the file now okay we don't need to do any other things from now we have to log into evng and we have to add a node so basically we'll go to linux and kali and that's all just save it okay we'll take a node for palo alto okay so we'll just save it here as well this one and also we are going to take a node for windows so we'll take a windows node save it okay and we'll just connect to each other okay and this one to this one okay and to access the Palo Alto what we have to do is we'll just select a network okay and we are going to connect this one to management interface and we are good so let's start this all okay so let's start this okay so okay now it got started okay now we can see that the Kali Linux is loading now okay and the default username and password is basically root and root that's all not tour it's root root okay so meanwhile i'll start the other system as well so i'll just start it okay it is having okay started now r o o t root again same password r o o t okay so as you can see that we have already logged into kali linux okay what we are going to do is i'll start the palo alto and the windows and i'll set up the initial the ip configuration things and then i'll start the video again okay so guys as we agree that i am going to put the initial ip configuration uh, to firewall and put some initial policies as well so let's understand this topology first so this management interface will be used for management and from there from this is my pc and i'll be managing the palo alto firewall from there this is our kali linux box which is outside of our organization and this is ip addresses and this is our inside okay just think about this is a public ip address for now okay so i'll be i'll be initiating an attack towards this pc i have created a policy already uh, on any policy from outside to inside just for a testing purpose this is not should not you should not implement any any from outside to inside okay in production environment you should not do that okay this is only for lab purpose okay so let's go into the kali box okay let's 
put the username and the password same root and root okay and we are going to launch some kind of attack okay so it's a very simple attack that i'm just initiating what you can do is i'll just enlarge it so that you guys can see properly okay so i'll just show the application click on that information okay i'll go a little down where is that zen one zen zen yeah so i'll go to the zen map okay and i'll just put the ip address so our target ip address is 192 so i'll just put 192 168 10.100 right and i'll be putting some intense scan okay now it takes little bit of time to scan that particular ip address okay now as we are whether we just need to check whether we have the ip address configured or not let's check that out okay okay it is not okay let me connect this one so i'll just stop this one okay it's not happening okay i'll go to wired settings i'll just configure the ip address okay so it's ipv4 manual i'll just put the ip address oh, 20.100 255 255 255 and 192 168 20 dot 10 okay if required you can put your dns as well but for now it is not required so let's initiate again uh, as we can see the wire is connected it will start scanning okay now completed the ping scan now we'll go to our polo alto and we'll see there will be some kind of okay as we can see some of the traffic that is coming in from 20 to 10 dot okay it started coming if we go to threat so it has not recognized because it's still the scan is going on right now as you can see there are multiple scans which will be there okay so for that reason it takes little bit of time and now you can see that there is some kind of alert that has been generated the source ip address the destination ip address and this is alert and for alert for what the scanning so if you enlarge this threat scanning you will be able to see for what reason what what is the threat id and all those informations will be seen in this okay so guys you can perform most of the attacks through this topology okay and you can have multiple topology in place and you can place kali linux and try to penetrate it try to attack it or check what is happening okay this will help you to learn more from the technology what exactly the vendor is saying to you or what is documented you can doing some kind of attack and you can just understand more about it okay attack is a way to understand technology at the same time you will be uh, learning how to do an attack okay so your cyber security skills will get in, in, in evolved by the time you are understand some technology okay in a deep way so guys this is what i wanted to cover in this video uh, comment down if you have tried kali linux in evng or it was successful or it was not okay 
and also i'll request you to please give me some suggestion related to my video if it is possible in comment please give it on or you can send me an email you can send me message on instagram facebook wherever you want okay thank you guys for your support thank you so much for watching this i'll i'll see you in the next and guys don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss a video from me